Just after 7.30, we were alerted and brought to the scene by the housemaid of Baron Rogel. <laughs> At the scene of the crime, we found Dame Caroline de Miao. She was standing over the corpse of <gasps> Monsieur Grunway with his blood on her paws. <laughs> well, that sounds like an open and shut case, in my humble opinion. Uh, no, more, no more questions, Your Honour. Bl bloody paws? Nobody told me that detail! You didn't ask! Oh my god. Keep it together, Falcon! You're about to be given the opportunity to cross-examine the witness! That's your opportunity to find flaws in the inspector's testimony! Okay, we so... We were alerted and brought to the scene by the housemaid. At the scene of the crime, we found Dame. She was standing over the sliced open with blood on her paws. So, blood on her paws, no one said anything about that. Also, so where's... are you right about that? The murder weapon. But yeah. What that quest? That's probably what the good one to start with. Inspector, you saying <clears throat> Dame Catiline had blood on her paws? Correct. Blood clung to her fur like guilt to a convict. <laughs> <laughs> How much blood was there? Maybe. Yeah, we don't got DNA, so no point asking. How news. much blood was on the lady's paws, Inspector? Enough for it to be clear that she had dirtied her hands on the victim's body. We noticed blood under the suspect's nails, around her fingertips. <laughs> nails and fingertips. And like even cow. a little around her mouth. Um, what? Around her mouth. The fuck are you on about, mate? Oh, the steak! Steak! The raw oh, steak! Bloody raw steak! And they didn't have any cutlery! We, <laughs> because we did the house it! We did it! All. Did it! Are you welcome, by the way? Rabbit! Okay. I shouldn't be helping you. Mm. I'm working for the other side. We the fucking done it. The inspector's answer seems pretty definitive. Do you have another question about the kid blood on the Dame Catalyze paws? Yes! yes! Whose blood? Whose blood? Yes. Because then we can go... <coughs> Whose blood was it? Ha! What a question. It was Monsieur Gonrys, of course. How can you be so sure? I, I object. This line of question is absurd. Shut up, rabbit! There was only one murder victim that died, Falcon. The, bl uh, the blood on Dame Catalina's paws could have only belonged to one person, Monsieur Gunwi. Judge, Falcon's trying. No, to no, it's not pointless. No, it's it's not it's what are you on about rabbit. But yes, no. Shut up. I'm afraid the prosecution may have a point, Monsieur Falcon. Do you have any reason yes. to suspect the blood belongs to yes. someone other than Monsieur Gunwi? Yes, I do. Steak. I do, Your Honour. Actually, I have more than a suspicion. I have evidence that the blood on Dame Catalina's paws had nothing to do with the murder. You're this is foolish time wasting, Falcon. If the blood on Dame Catalina's paws didn't come from the victim, then where did the blood come from? Steak! Fucking steak! Steak! Well, that's steak. On the evening of the murder, Dame Catalina ate a bloody ah! red steak! Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Is this true, Monsieur Rabington? Uh, well, I, I did a matter of speaking. I suppose steak may have been on the menu. Dame Catiline is an elegant bourgeois kitten. <laughs> she is no doubt brought up with a uh, flawless etiquette and perfect table manners. At the banquet, she would have eaten the steak with a fork oh, in her leg. Oh, get owned, rabbit! Get, Bro, get the you're, off! You're about to get fucking owned, Indeed. son. Indeed. How could she possibly have, etc.? That is a good question. Or at least, it would be at any ordinary dinner banquet, you stupid rabbit. But as it happened, something was missing from that particular banquet. Mm, here we go, something motherfuckers. Something that forced Dame Kathleen to eat with her paws. Here we go, motherfuckers! Cut Cut missing silverware, bitches! Dame Kathleen was forced to eat a steak with her paws you because... Ready? <laughs> the silverware of the household had previously been stolen! Stolen? I, I don't recall any mention of that in the police report. Uh, we weren't aware of any missing from the Royal Goyle residence when we performed the initial investigation. Great job. Uh, as it happened, Baron Royal Goyle approached us about this very subject last night. Ah. What is the meaning of all this? Bloody steak? Misplaced silverware? Inspector, were you, was your investigation so lax that you overlooked these basic facts in your initial report? Yeah. Lax, my investigation. Judge, I assure you that I am the most thorough investigative officer on the force. That's bullshit. That is amazing. Oh my god, what accent am I doing? <laughs> That's amazing the Parisian police managed to solve any crimes at all. This is. 
<laughs> oh dear. Be on your way, Inspector. Perhaps do a little inspecting for your next case. You've made a powerful enemy today. I'll be Fine, back. so be it. Rishers, until next time. Or a motherfucking war. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor, I trust your next witness is ready? Uh, uh, yeah, of course, Your Honour. Is it the draft? No, the photographer. Oh, uh, I call oh upon... this is where we could be in trouble because we broke into his house. Yeah, we Let's broke... see. No, no, some kids did Monsieur it. Weasels. Robert Dio oh, Robinio, the photographer who attended the banquet on the night of the murder. Also, I get the terrible Italian accent oh, back. Oh, God. How does it go? I swear to speak, <laughs> shut up, without the hatred and without fear to tell the whole truth, but nothing but the truth? Mamma mia. It's a little cliche, to be perfectly honest. Could the witness please introduce himself for the court record? Hmm, as if anybody in this courtroom does not immediately recognize me. I am the great, ridiculously named Monsieur Robidio Robinio, cutting edge photographer and visionary. I don't just take uh, people's uh, pictures, I capture the essence. Je suis artiste, tu es une pipe. <laughs> I am a pipe. Pipe. Yes. Uh, you may have seen my works in the hip magazines Le Prancher. Or say chouette. Say chouette. I can send you tweets if you like. Oh. Send your tweets. What on earth is a tweet? Fuck it out. <laughs> bird to bird communication. Come on, Falcon. It's the 19th century. Cover the times already. Uh, yes, your works are very impressive, Monsieur Rabinio. But let's get down to business. Uh, what the fuck were you doing on the night of the murder? Very well. I was hired hey. by a man. How did you do this? Yes, because for some... I don't know hey, why. At the pitch at the bottom, uh, I ride the Vespa. <laughs> I catch. eat the spaghetti. Uh, the spaghetti. Uh, a tea. I drink uh, the cafe in the tiny, tiny little cup. <laughs> I arrived at 7.30, I pointed my camera and captured the beauty of the banquet in one fantastic photograph. Where's that? Then I built him and left. Where's the photograph? Yes, we are Like a true artist. Uh, with regards to the photograph itself, who did you photograph? I thought you might ask. Oh, he's got a copy. I thought a copy, so you could all see for yourself. Oh my god. Is this going to be a fake doctored copy? I, you might be right. Let's take a closer look. Oh no! Oh! oh! <laughs> You're about to get fucking it's, owned. It's an exquisite <laughs> picture. See, we should have broken in. You guys were like, we shouldn't break in. And I was like, we should totally break in. Who do we have? Uh, in, uh, in the middle, we see. Uh, it's a very sexy lion. Baron, who is the clearly Tatraza. not there, who hosted the event. Uh, on the left, we see the father Meow. of Dame Catalina. Um, Senor Patois de Mio. Is he going to speak like that if he ever turns oui. up? Good. <laughs> and finally, we see the housemaid, who I suspect may have snuck in uninvited. Oh, snuck in? She's giant, dude. How the fuck did you not see that? There's no toilet paper in their house because they lick their. Oh, bums. don't. Oh, my good God. Don't. Little... Don't say that. I, I didn't need that in my There's life. There's hands on the clock. There is indeed hands on the clock. A motherfucker, well spotted. It's the first thing I fucking noticed. I noticed that the I lion said, was in it. I noticed the lion. But I said the to lion. Set the alibi. That there's the lion, though. Behind the photograph subjects, we see a wall clock with the time set to 7.30. Good job, Ravington. No. Why is the time uh. significant? Well, as I was bullshitting you with earlier, that was the exact time the murder took place. Right, let's lay this down. Do you see Come Falcon? On, Come on. Every suspect has an alibi except for Kathleen. No. Hey Falcon, that photograph doesn't seem right. It's it looks different from the one we borrowed from Robinho's studio. I see it too. Let's lay the smack oh, down. Oh, look. Different lady. Time for smackdown. Time. Smackdown. Smack down, 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 smack down! That was quite loud. I know. Jesus. Sorry. Slam it! You should just slam that evidence down! Be like, BAM! Inconsistency! This whole courtroom is out of order! Kiss closed! But we stole it. I can't do that. Well, 
I suppose you could be a little more no, delicate no, no, with your words. You stole it. No, I mean I can't do it because our evidence was illegally obtained. Told you. I was oh, presented with oh, that. I told you. Shit. I told you how to get away with murder. Knows what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but we can just say that the clock has no hands on it because everyone knows that the clock has no hands on it. It's a talking but piece. But that's hearsay. Every that's hearsay. Judge Judy would say that's hearsay. No, but he hearsay. said it himself. Judge Judy's not here. We don't judge talk face. Oh, everyone, come on. Everyone who goes to that house is entertained in the lounge. By and it's a, a conversation, conversation piece. piece. But it's hearsay. I don't care. It's not hearsay. It's oh, fact. We don't want that. Monsieur Robinho, you said you arrived at 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Eh. Oh, give or take a couple of minutes. Yes, sorry. I drink the Fanta Zero. It's very nice. How do you know? How do you know that you arrived at seven? Because the clock... I'm a fucking oh. bird. We know these things. I don't know. The clock in my house read to 6.45 when I left and the walk was about to 15 minutes. I don't claim to be a flawless timekeeper, but I am professional. I always stick to an appointment. <laughs> Do you have another? Why? Yes. Oh no! So it's not about me. Okay. I was like, why is he How talking about How long did it take to set up? I'm a third person. Oh. How long did it take to set up your camera? Oh. Uh, it took about 25 minutes to find the shooting location, put together the camera, and ready the film, I which think would this put might us at 7:25. Shh, believe. So you arrived at seven, and the photograph took place at 7:30, and you spent 25 minutes setting it up. Fits. Yeah. That leaves five minutes unaccounted for. Surely you aren't suggesting that he did something uh, nefarious in this small window of time. Nefarious. Yeah, nefarious. Nefarious. I assume. Mm. I don't. I don't know that he's. But, well, then, that but then he's doctored the photo. Two photos taken he's in five minutes. That was enough time for him to take two different photographs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Is that what we're going to push? That he took I, two photos. I suppose. Yeah. Because it takes, those photos take 10 minutes to form, don't they? Yeah. So he must have taken one. And then taken another and one. And taken another. So do we push Why this I with I'm I the am, or do we just drop it? No, I'm the, not the defence, or the prosecution. What, so what are you saying, Paul? Can the housemaid paid, the housemaid paid off the photographer? Or was it Seigneur Patois de Miel, perhaps? I don't think so. The housemaid lacks Ooh. the means or motive, and it wouldn't make sense for Signor Pertois to implicate his own so daughter. So who does, who does that leave, then? Does it leave his, perhaps, business partner, who he might acquire certain things from, should the death of the frog occur? No, you mean the honest and beloved Baron? baron. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yes, the Baron deliberately tried to frame her. Because that would be their most outlandish theory yet. The Baron is a pillar of our community. He would never do such a thing. Monsieur Robington, I'm not here to throw accusation. That's the job of you, the prosecutor. However... Uh-oh. It's oh. me! Fuck! Um, he's eaten the It's me! Judge. Oh, God, he has. No, uh, where is he? Uh, he's uh, just about to uh, appear. Uh, 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 perhaps, perhaps I should, I should <laughs> offer my opinion. Do I have a cigar? Uh, Baron, it's not time for your witness testimony yet. Uh, so you think, prosecutor, as I see my good reputation getting tarnished by your incompetence. Incompetence? Indeed. Let us proceed with witness questioning. Is that fine with you, Judge? Oh, we didn't hear him. He's just standing by. Oh, it's fine. Phew. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, very good. And I trust that the defence has no objection. Yeah, sure. We've got to bring it. this motherfucker down. Yeah. How are we going to do this? We're going to end Try it, oh, motherfuckers. Shit. I'm a lion. Because there's a cigar. Cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. Yeah, but it's, I, I, it's I, his house. Why wouldn't there be a cigar, cigar in the fountain? fountain? Cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. That's cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. Cigar in the fountain. So garden, housemaid. Maybe chat about the dinner. Garden. Why am I helping you? Because it's dinner, all the garden. Because we found a cigar in the garden. Can we look that at the evidence true. that we have? Yes. Yes, you can. It's that one. What does the cigar say? We haven't used the cigar, the photo, or the camera. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably a cigar. I think it's, cigar. it's the only thing that we've got, really, oh, isn't it? Garden. So what do we go with? Garden? Maybe. Right. Baron, we saw the murder scene. Your garden for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> horses. horses. When was the last time you visited ah. it? You don't ask me about the horses, but I like horses. When was the last time you ventured out into your own garden? 
Uh, 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 it happens. Uh, oh, really? Uh, oh, uh, oh, motherfucker! I have quite serious allergies. I haven't been in my garden for years. Years, you say? Indeed. That's not right. <laughs> Baron, I do not wish to call you a liar. You liar. But that <laughs> claim does not hold up to scrutiny. Oh, why is that? Because we have hard evidence that you what recently the visited man? the garden. Oh my god. But Balderdash, my word is gold. Show the court the so-called hard evidence that I've been in my garden. You know what to do, Simon. Ding! Motherfucker. This was found in your garden. To be specific, it was found inside the fountain <laughs> basin. <laughs> yeah! Right beside where the murder occurred! I love Son. The, the chat gets it like right away, they're just spamming it, it's brilliant. Oh man. Yes, it's indeed. The remnants of one of my cigars, but I must apologize, Monsieur Falcon, because I misunderstood your initial question. Bullshit! You see, prior, oh, prior yeah. to the banquet, I hadn't visited my own uh -huh. garden in years. But uh, naturally, after hearing the housemaids cry for help on the evening of the murder, I rushed outside. I was I was shocked and uh, disgusted by what I saw. That must have been when I dropped my off-smoked cigar in the fountain basin. <laughs> you see, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. I would find that believable if the cigar were casually discarded. But as it happened, the cigar butt was found in the fountain's upper basin, a location that could only be accessed with great inconvenience. Oh. <laughs> you just throw it! Fucking throw it! A little paddling! Shut up. Isn't that right? Shut up, you. Hey. The cigar butt was not dropped, it was deliberately hidden. I don't know any number of possible explanations. Bring them, are there? Because I can think of only one. That is that you, Baron, deliberately hid your cigar butt to disguise your own illicit activities. Oh my god. Did, did I now? What, what illicit activities would those be? You want me to spell it out? Fine, let's put everything on the table. Let's put everything on the table. Here we go, it's all there on the table. Table. Everything on there. Table. Put the mouse on the table. Ta table. 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 Oh! I don't it. You're dressed with Oh wait, I murder. didn't get to do my thing. How shamelessly brazen of you and you missed out! Happen. I think I accused him of murder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, Just say. I accuse you of murder. I accuse you of murder. <gasps> no evidence. Think harder, Monsieur Remington. Every piece of evidence points to the Baron as the prime suspect. I know. You want the means? The Baron certainly had the means. His lion's claws are sharp as a <gasps> surgeon's blade. Cutting a frog belly would be trivial to him. Yeah. Even Monsieur Rubinio confessed just moments ago that he feared his claws. Ridiculous! I would never threaten a man with violence! You want a motive? The Baron had at least 10,000 francs worth of motive. Holy By removing fuck. a business partner, the Baron's share of his railway company increased from one third to one half! That is preposterous! And finally, the Baron had the opportunity. No, he crafted the perfect opportunity! He arranged a small banquet with a oh, very select number of guests. Yeah. Shit. He was aware of the missing silverware, and yet he served steak, a food item that necessitates good cutlery. Why? To bloody the hands of his guests, of course. <gasps> then he hired an evilly, easily influenced photographer and staged a very specific picture in order to build a perfect alibi for himself. Ding. Photographing the guests in front of a handless clock to make it easy for editing is quite an ingenious plan, it must be said. I, I, I'm prosecutor, are you just gonna let a slanderous young go uncontested? Say something! Object! Uh, um, uh, uh, uh oh, 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 <laughs> You're pitifully useless! This is an outrage! Judge! I demand that you disbar this ranting lunatic! No! There is only one outrage here! Ah! That is, that a man like yourself is able to abuse his wealth and status to frame an innocent girl for murder! I'm just a cat girl! You're a bourgeois of the worst kind! Bourgeois. Bourgeois. That. How dare you, garçon! The utter nerve of a, a lying scumbag of a lawyer to cruise off the oh, lamp for like myself with something so hideous! Heinous. 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 Your Highness, Your Highness. I'm, I'm nothing like that. Oh, he's cracked. I'm nothing like that front cap bourgeois. I'm a respectable, hard-working capitalist. No, you're no. a ruthless man who would slaughter a dear friend just to reap a few francs. You incredulous whelp. I ought to got you right here now, like 
Like like a frog. <gasps> like a <laughs> damned frog. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! Oh. Damn. oh my god! Whoops. Oh my god! Dot, he dot, just dot. stands there blinking. He's like, did he really just fucking? Did he? Did he really just? And then you. Uh, we're you're, all just going. Yeah. Kid. Could someone please restrain the Baron? <laughs> I want it, Your Honour! Let's go, old man! To the conciergerie with you! No, touch me, or felt the jackdaw! I can walk myself! There you go, it's jackdaw. Right. We have reached a decision. Oh. What is it? In light of the recent revelations, it's clear that an error of judgement was made with the initial arrest. On that note, we unanimously find the defendant, Dame Catalina de Miao, to be not guilty. Yay! Yay! Well done, everyone! We did well it, everyone! Done. We did it! Monsieur Falcon, Petit Sparrow, sir, you did it! Yes, I suppose we did, didn't we? Oh, we should head back to the office so we can celebrate properly with some lunch! We need the, the celebratory uh, music. There it is. Yeah. Catalan just like oh, eats nice. us both. Not just... Oh my god, where did like you get Sam. that from? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all Sam has to do all night. That's, that's all he's got. That's all he's got. Right, let's act out the end of this. Oh my god. Come on. Please God, what is it? Yeah! <laughs> did it, Falcon! I can't take all the credit. It was a group achievement. I'm so proud of you both. I'll go get one bottle of wine and three of our least dirty glasses. Yeah! You were amazing, Monsieur Falcon. Oh, I was nothing, kid. I very much like the way you pin the murderer on the baron. That was an act of sheer genius. Well, I didn't pin anything. Sparrows and I just worked out you know, mailing the truth, given the facts of the case. Monsieur Falcon, there is no need to play coy. Oh, hello. The case is over. It was totally me! <laughs> Play coy? Don't tell me you are actually being sincere! I, I'm completely lost here. Are you, are you coming on to me? Oh, wow! I, oh, I thought the goody-goody thing was an act, but you actually don't know. Alright, I spell it out for you. Sam, you might have to cut yeah. the music! Oh my god. It was me all along! Oh. My. Oh my I God, it. Monsieur Grandoui! What? I saw him in the garden, all drunk and vulnerable, and I seized my opportunity. Oh God, what have we done? It was nothing personal, just business. You understand? Be business. To increase my papa's share in the train company, of course. My papa said that the drunkard frog was the weakest link. Your confession doesn't make any sense at all. I found the Baron's cigar butt hidden in the garden. Oh, I, I put that there. Oh well, my god. I'm just a silly woman, you see. I expected the police to find it, but I suppose that was putting too much faith in the brains of Paris's finest. But Falcon proved that Monsieur Rabinio's photograph was edited. Yeah, how does that? Oh, I should tell you in a minute. It was edited. I wasn't in the picture because I was busy paying a visit to Monsieur Grandoui in the garden. And my papa knew I did an alibi. Oh, he's in on it too. So he ordered Monsieur Rabinio to paint me over the Because her father's a cat who also has claws. So That's when he said his claws. Yes. And she has claws too, to add hands to the clock. 
But oh my god. That lazy artist didn't manage to finish altering either photograph by trial day. It's a good thing that Monsieur Falcon was so imaginative because it should have gone quite badly. Well, fuck. <laughs> the chat is raging. <laughs> They're like, fuck! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan Ding Dong. <laughs> Acted by Shia LaBeouf. We're just like. With a bit J.J. Abrams thrown in. Menswear. What's with the silence? You should both be proud. There aren't many lawyers in the whole of France who would have won the case like this, even for a bourgeoisie kitty like me. I think you should leave. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th I think you should leave. Hmm. Fine. So much for the celebrations. Here's the payment for your services straight from my papa's oh. pockets. Well, adieu, Ooh. Monsieur Falcon. Adieu. Ooh. Petit Sparrow. Forty forty francs you got paid there. Yes, that's a Let's lot of off. money. I hope you enjoy. I said it you and I leave. To you and you and you. <laughs> it's not <laughs> goodbye, it is just a you. <laughs> Fuck on! What do we do now? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing this. Uh, oh shit. Ellipsis Falcon. Well, that was depressing. Uh, yeah, we accused. <laughs> yeah, I got off scot free! Of murder. Yeah! And let the murderer get away with it. Oh, and that's Avery Attorney. Man. I might actually, play, I might actually really play some more of this in around. January, because why the hell not? Really depressed now. That was like, what the fuck? 